Today, beautiful people, I am showing you 25 of the most secret houses in Minecraft. This looks so normal, you would never guess that there's a secret house underneath here. But if you go up to this blue flower and break it, and then you go up here to this tree, chop down a couple of pieces of wood, put down a fabulous crafting table, then we're gonna make a campfire, and we're gonna place this campfire directly where the blue flower was. And that's because this house is so secret, the only way to reveal it is by melting the snow that is covering it up. There we go, look at this! There is a trap door leading to the entrance of this secret house. And if you're like me and you love secret houses, make sure you guys leave a like on this video because I want to do an episode where I show you guys even more epic secret houses in Minecraft. This house is amazing. It's, um, as you guys could probably already tell, there's a lot of ice in the house because we are in a very icy biome currently. I really love this house because it's so cozy. There's a ton of ice inside of this house. There's even the garden with the blue flower that was covering the secret entrance at the very tippity top. You've got a nice cozy couch with a fireplace, some bookshelves if you want to get some knowledge. I didn't even notice as we walked in, but there are couches made of ice. This secret house kind of reminds me of the hotel in Sweden that is made entirely out of ice. There's also tons of storage with snowballs, snow, blocks of snow just in case you need them, and coal so you could keep that fire going all winter long. Just be careful though, if you light the fire too much, this house will melt. Now, you might be thinking, Preston, is this house just hidden in a cave? No, it's not in a cave. It actually is in the nether, but we must get to this nether portal first in order to get to it. I don't know about you guys, but I love nether bases. I think they're really, really cool and unique. Once you see these two red mushrooms, you break this block of glowstone. Then we have to go and get a bucket of lava and five mushrooms. It sounds weird, but I promise it works, okay? Lava. Either way, you cannot use brown mushrooms. No, you have to use only red mushrooms. Place down the lava bucket and put five mushrooms in here, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Check it out, baby! Secret entrance opens up, leading you to this incredible nether house. We've got armor stands over here, lanterns, wither roses, a decent sized nether wart farm, because everybody in the nether needs those. Okay, you gotta <laughs> be careful about the wither roses. I take a lot of damage to them, and they are not too polite. Also, a bunch of chests with tons of nether quartz ore, nether stars, nether bricks. I mean, we've got all kinds of goodies inside of this secret nether house. Even a giant, I don't even think this is a king bed. This is like a California king. It's huge. My favorite thing about this house is there is a farm just for these cute little guys. No nether house is complete without a cute magma farm. I almost forgot about this secret house, but do you see this right here? In order to reveal the secret house inside of this greenhouse, which is used for a bunch of flowers, we need three different flowers and three flower pots to put them in. In order to reveal the secret house, you have to place the correct flowers in the missing flower pots or it will not work. But check it out, once you do all that, a secret passageway opens up beneath the house, revealing the secret house. Once again, a huge California king bed. Look at this massive automated wheat farm. Beautiful, just beautiful. Right. Come to me, wheat. Yes, literally we have an infinite supply of food down here. I need you guys in the comments, let me know which of these secret houses is your all time favorite. If you love music, this secret house is literally made for you. This is a giant, Piano that is not very secret, but it will reveal a secret house if we play a specific melody on the piano keys. While we are climbing this house to our secret piano house, in order to show you amazing viewers the secret melody to this piano house, I need you to take the device you're watching this video on, turn it like this, make the red subscribe button gray, enable those bell notifications, make sure they are all on. Now that you've done that, I can show you the secret melody. I probably should put my headphones on for this one. Here is the secret melody. You guys know I love parkour, so what I do is I only jump on the black piano keys. I jump on all of them because it's really difficult. This is a quad jump piano key. Not a lot of people can do this. Oh, and not even I make it all the time, but thankfully we did that time. Once you've done that, it will open. Oh, did you see it? There it is. Oh yeah, where's it? There it is. Oh man, I forgot about how cool this secret house looks. To me, it's like a very modern, sleek house. You've got a giant TV entertainment center inside of here. Luxurious obsidian cabinets, even an extra set of black and white leather gear. The bed is not as luxurious as the other houses I have shown up for you guys. 
but it does come with a giant secret vault containing all of the music discs inside of Minecraft and tons of note blocks. I don't know why, but I really like the black and white color scheme, especially the flowers. I might have to say, from all the houses we've seen so far, this might be my favorite, but we still have so many other houses to look at, so don't go anywhere. Now, everybody said this next secret house is impossible, but I did it anyways. This secret house is under the void inside of Minecraft. Once you find this red sand hidden inside of the giant desert, you can start by digging straight down and you kind of got to go for a little bit, obviously, because guys, it's a secret house. We can't make it easy to get to. Now that we are all the way down, check this out. There is a large hole with the void right in front of us. This is the dangerous part. We have to jump inside of the void, drink a potion of levitation. Before we start dying to the void, there's a hole somewhere down here where we could get to the secret base. Is this it? Wait a second. I think I see it. Oh, ho! yep, this is definitely it, ladies and gentlemen. And just with 15 seconds left of levitation to spare. I know I said the last house is my favorite, but I love the fact that we are literally almost underneath the void right now inside of this house. There's almost nobody that could find you here, which a lot of people find very peaceful. There's once again a giant bed inside of the bedroom. It has a little bit of a maze design. You've got double in chests, tons of chests for storage, extra chain mail, which I am totally going to steal right now. Don't tell anybody. I look fancy. And of course, we have all these different mob grinders from creepers to if you go over here, we have zombie pigmen. And at the very edge over here, we even have zombies that we can grind. Did we get anything good? No, okay, we only got, hey, we got an iron shovel, I'll take that. This bathroom is not very private. If you have guests over, you might not want to use it. It's kind of in the open. Most people think that this is an abandoned bunker in Minecraft, but it is not. You just need to complete some redstone circuits in order to reveal the epic, beautiful house that lies beneath. Just like with a person, we all have beautiful souls if you get to know us. I right, Preston, stop being cringy. We've got things to do, dadgummit. This is an unbreakable lever. No matter how many times you try to break it, it just won't break. And that brings us to the collection of the hidden redstone inside of this bunker that we need to collect in order to make it long enough to reach this iron door. I love secret houses in Minecraft. I don't know why they are so much fun to make. I hope you guys enjoy watching secret house videos as much as I enjoy making them because personally, they are some of my favorite videos of all time to make. So don't forget, if you guys are enjoying, make sure you hit that like button down below if you want to see more of these awesome secret house videos. However, there is a small problem because you do need to complete parkour. As you noticed, our redstone signal is not strong enough to reach all the way to this iron door. And that is where this house becomes very difficult. There is some very sneaky parkour and if you fail, you will die. So not a lot of people like to go here. You gotta grab the redstone repeater and then you have to do all the parkour to get all the way back out. And I think, you know what? I, I was thinking about trying to make this jump. It's not possible. How about we just play this one safe? Open up the shulker box. Oh my gosh, I almost missed that. There we go. Where's the redstone? Yeah, okay, I forgot which way to place the redstone repeater. Do not laugh at me. Hey, there we go. We actually did it right for once. The secret redstone house has been unveiled. Just in case you want to keep your friends busy, you've got the infinite roller coaster right here as soon as you walk into the living area. And if you get off your roller coaster, you have the master bedroom right here in front of you with a lot of glass furnaces and for some reason missing iron. Did somebody find this house and steal my iron? Anyways, moving on. Everything inside of here is redstone powered. This right here is a brain swapping machine and it works. Okay, I'm not kidding. I've used it many times before. I would not recommend using it though because it takes a week to recharge before you can swap brains back with somebody. Then you've got your regular chest over here. I think this is an item sorter. I don't remember. If you put anything into this item hopper, it will separate into the chest on the left and the right hand side of this secret house. This one's a little bit more small and compact, but I still really like it. For all the viewers out there who have a massive sweet tooth, including myself, this is the Cakewalk Secret House. Yeah, we are standing currently on a lot of sugar and frosting. And to get inside of this secret house, it's actually way too easy. All you have to do is make a cake. I'm not kidding. You just make a cake. I forgot to mention this. There's a giant cake pedestal surrounded missing one of the cakes which we are about to place down I, I probably should make this entrance a little bit less obvious i feel like if anybody sees this they're gonna be like maybe i should place a cake down here hopefully they do not do that 
Once you have your fabulous cake that you decorated and baked, place it down here, right click it, and you will be teleported into the secret Candyland cake house. <laughs> As you can see down here, the floors are made of cake, which are delicious, and you can eat them if you want to. Just remember, in moderation, okay? We're not trying to get anybody sick here. We've got planted pots. I think that's bamboo. It kind of looks like sugar cane, but it's it's a trick. It's actually bamboo. I really like the bed. It's a very low-to-the-ground bed with lots of pretty colors. You got a little bit of mushrooms, some pink glass over here, watermelons as well. Secret chest full of so much cake and cookies. I don't think you will ever go through all of them. The only problem about this secret house is the only way to get out is to literally eat your way out of the frosting above us because if you right click the cakes, you just keep teleporting to the entrance of the house. For the next secret house video, I'm going to fix that. Fun fact about me, I love cactus. I don't know why. I think ever since I started playing Minecraft, I've really liked cactus and it doesn't make any sense. To get to this secret house, you have to grab a piece of sand, which we already have. You have to do parkour on all of the cacti, which is very, very difficult to do. Oh boy, that's a long jump. Woo! And once you get all the way here, jump on this cactus, place the sand down. The cactus will start shrinking, revealing the secret base. You can fall into the water, take no damage, and check it out, man. This house is epic. You got two leather guardians watching over the secret entrance in case anybody decides to drop down. I like the orange and yellow interior decorating. As you guys can tell, I have orange on my shirt. It's one of my favorite colors. Even got a beautiful yellow bed, double chest next to it, a bunch of chests with glowstone in them, sandstone, tons of sandstone. I mean, a lot of sandstone. You could sell that for a very high price. And of course, lots of sand. It's a simple but a very beautiful house, but the best thing about it is how you have to parkour on top of cacti to get in here. Like, nobody is going to think about jumping on top of cactus and then placing a sand block on the middle cactus to get inside. Except for you guys, because you've now seen the video. But don't, hey, 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 you can't come into the secret house without permission. You gotta ask me on my Instagram first, okay? My Instagram is at realtbnrfrags if you wanna follow. Thank you so very much. The moment you've all been waiting for, the finale of Secret Houses here inside of Minecraft on the Preston Plays YouTube channel. In order to get to the Secret House, you're gonna need some wood because we have got to make ourselves a crafting table. Put that bad boy down. Then you are going to want to make a ton of dark oak doors because what you have to do is you have to place these down on different mushroom stems and eventually when you open the door, it will lead to a secret passageway. It's kind of like the movie, The Chronicles of Narnia. They open a door, they go into a closet, it takes them to a new world. It's very similar to that. You can't place it like this. You have to place it inside of the mushroom stem and eventually you'll find the secret mushroom stem. I can't remember which one it is, okay? Wait a second. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Hold on. Yup! Okay, it was definitely that one. We just got teleported inside of it and if you keep climbing the ladders, look at the breathtaking view you will see once you are all the way up here. You have like this private balcony overlooking all of of the forest here in Minecraft with the coziest bed in the whole entire world. Like, I'm serious. It's basically a 360 view. Then you can come to the stairs over here if you want to go to the next floor, which will contain all of the chests and mushrooms you will ever want in your entire life with yet another stunning, breathtaking view of everything beneath you. I mean, I can already see multiple biomes from up here. Oh, and check this out, man. I forgot about this. A full enchanting suite at the very top. You've even got an ender chest if you want to get to any of your items that were down below on the ground. Music box, juke boxes, furnaces, anvils, literally anything you could want. It is up here. Oh no, what is he doing? Noob, what? Ow, oh, jeez! Stop jumping off the roof. Why? There's a death counter in the top for noob one, two, three. Can you just. You're missing. <laughs> How are you missing? It's like what your parents say. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. Every single house that we're going through today has a secret entrance and our one job is to find that entrance. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and help this noob. Listen, what would Jesus do? He would help noobs, he would help pros, it doesn't matter. He would help whoever was in need. All right, how about this? Is this gonna help him out? There you go. Okay, now you can jump. <laughs> You just like, I just had to make it. Please don't miss this. Please don't miss this. If you don't miss this. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You kind of interrupted the beginning of my video, just as an FYI. I, a little disappointed. What? Did you just spit a book out at me? He just spat knowledge. Some weird guy gave me this for you. Okay, thank you. Hello, Agent Preston. <laughs> 
Wow, this is gonna be a fun video. I'm excited for this, actually. This person's telling me exactly what I know. Yeah, I know there's seven houses that we need to infiltrate. Your mission, should you choose to accept, is to find a way to get inside the houses and steal secret tools. Okay, I didn't know about the secret tools part. Your goal is to enter the final seventh house and retrieve the stolen artifact. Inside, Agent Noob1234 will be helping you out in your journey. Good luck. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, guys. If this is gonna be my partner for the rest of the video, I'm gonna need you all to leave a like down below because this is gonna be difficult. Oh, this is gonna be fun though. Do you need a moment? Are you ready? Okay, you're you're ready? All right, thank you. You didn't even say anything. You just walked in. Hey, be careful, man. What if something inside of here can kill us? You know, you never, you literally, you never know. You actually never know. Oh, wait, how did I miss this? A dirt key. This has gotta be it. Okay, where do we put the dirt? Oh my. Wait a second, wait a second, which one? Left, right, does it matter? Oh, this is sick! Secret door has opened. Okay, you still need to watch your step though. They've got a couple of pitfall traps just in case. And there's another door, of course there's another door, with another staircase. Everybody in the comments, do we choose right or do we choose the left? Let me know in the comments. Hey, we're going on the left, baby. Wait, it's neither. I need your body. That sounded kind of... Yeah. <laughs> I know that sounded strange, okay? But no, I think you need two people to stand on... What the heck was that? What are, what are you doing? How did you just... I'm not even going to ask questions anymore. You needed two people to stand on the pressure plates in order to open the next passage. So at least we have the passageway open. And can you please use the stairs like a normal human being? So down here, we have a... What is this? A secondary movie theater? It's much nicer than the one that we saw originally. But there's got to be something else. Wait. In the fireplace? In the... Oh, what? What? What is this? Success! Oh my gosh, here it is. So apparently each room has these chests that are, it's, it's gonna give us this like code combination for the very end of the video when we get this new sacred artifact back. I don't know what it is, but this is code one to eight. This was sick. Okay, this is only the first secret house. We're gonna be moving on to the next one, but this one was amazing and way more difficult than I expected. Okay, so we still, unfortunately, Agent Noob is gonna be with us for the entire video. I'm really worried. Preston, look at the base in the sky. Let's go explore around it. Yes, Captain. So we still have the, we, well, what is this? This is like from the cartoons. We're about to launch ourselves in a flipping cannon. Preston, look at cannon. Should I click it? Sure. I'm gonna just stand a little bit away. <laughs> just, oh, it's actually. <laughs> oh my God, that was so fast. He died. And his death counter officially is at three. This is my uh, partner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, I love him. I love him. I love him. I totally love him. Okay, well, maybe. M yeah, well, how do we do this without dying? Okay, so this right here, it's actually made like a, this is like a real TNT cannon. We could take the TNT that's powering the cannon, reduce the damage. I think we're just gonna reduce it, okay? Okay, please. Here we go! There we go! Oh my god, that was so sick. I kind of want an instant replay, but I know, I, I'm sure you guys don't care. That was amazing. Okay, I want to call this one, this is like the sky secret base. Oh, and of course it's got to have parkour, eh? I don't mind because your boy's kind of a parkour king, but like honestly speaking, parkour is a great way to like keep people away. Is that, no. Oh. Like honestly speaking though, parkour is so good at keeping people away. Especially like, look at this. You see this jump? Like, if you don't do this right, you're gonna hit your head and you're gonna die, all right? So you have to, like, eh. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. Um, <laughs> all right, all of this better be worth it. What is here? What is, the, what is the, an enchanted ender pearl? What? Phases through blocks instead of to them. So basically, I'm assuming we throw this up here. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> okay, we have one more paper, two to four. So this was the second secret house. We have five more to go, which means you can't go anywhere. Unless you have to go to the bathroom, I understand. This is the next secret house we have to bust into. It's underwater. And also, do you see these? Do you know what these are? If you've taken history and you've seen World War I and World War II, these are basically sea mines. All right, they're very dangerous and very deadly. And that's why we have Lifeguard Tracy. You gotta love dudes' names that are just a little bit on the edge. You know what I mean? Just, just a little bit on the edge. <laughs> I like how he's like, yo, what's up, my dude? I'm a conveniently placed surf shop. What can I do for you? 
Can I get through these mines? <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. Also, what is that? Wait, is that? Wait a second, he's alive. Why is Noob1234 under the ground? Okay, and apparently Tracy can hook us up. I don't know how he's gonna hook us up, but can you... Okay, he gave us a scuba mask. Do we just... <laughs> oh yeah, there is a kind of freaky dude looking for you. Oh, it couldn't possibly be the guy underground, right? All right, this is very inconvenient. Can you please, can you come out of here, please? What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? Yes, hello there. Hello, can you, yes? How did you punch that block immediately? Is he in creative mode? <laughs> he knows the base under the waters. Okay, um, you, you're not, no, 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 no. They're not cool, don't touch them. Ow, that hurt my hand. <laughs> what do we have to do to get it through noob? All right, so, ah! Okay, we need to be very careful. Be very careful! Have you ever seen that episode of like, did you, I, I mean, not episode, but did you guys ever see Finding Nemo when they set off the mines? Yeah, this is like, you gotta be very careful, okay? Like, I wonder, wait, can you set this off with like a fish? Oh my God, look at this. I thought the snowballs would set the mines off, nope. Okay, are we in? Are we in? Oh, look at these terrible mines. Okay, get me in, get me in, get me in. Oh, all right. Thank you to the lifeguard Tracy for the scuba mask. Wait, what a second. I made it, Preston. Out! There is no way on God's green earth that you are still alive. Did anybody see what I just saw with my own two eyes? If you think Noob is using creative mode, can you please hit that subscribe button? I, I really feel like this man's is cheating, and so I'm gonna use it for subscriptions. <laughs> He's also, why are you looking at this? Does this open? This looks like, honestly, this hopper looks like it needs something. All right, what does this do? Uh, okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, what is happening? The water god says, do you dare attempt to steal from my temple? I don't think we did that. Did that, it, it wasn't me. Is he, he's, he's shooting salmon at us. Those are salmon. He's literally firing pieces of salmon at us. I've literally, I've never seen something like this before. Can you stop, please? Don't, stop, stop. What is going to make, okay, that's it. I don't know what to do. All right, that's it. There's only one thing. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Here's what we gotta do, here's what we gotta do. Break this, break this. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Open the staircase! Yes! We're in, go, go, go! Oh my God, we're done. Stop, 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 stop! Okay, I don't know why, the water god, the water god has stopped. I can't pronounce water god. What is wrong with me? Oh, noob! I need you again! We have to press the buttons at the same time. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, all of these things that we have to do simultaneously is really adding up to be quite the difficult infrastructure of structures. Where are you? Please, can you come any quicker? All right, don't you shut the door on me. Okay, open the, press up, yeah, yeah, press your, okay, which one do you want? Yeah, hello, I'm ready, thank you. <laughs> we have successfully conquered three of the secret homes and we have yet another piece of paper. Four more to go to find out what the secret art all right, so I've got a little bit of a hint for this next one. We are in the savannah. Do you see that name tag? That is the security guard, okay? And that means the entrance, that means this house is in the cave somewhere. I do, how do you get inside? Am I even in the right area? Oh, wait, is that an invisible block? Oh, it's, it's you. Okay, this, I found the cave. You know, and sometimes, sometimes you pull a small brain move. This is the correct entrance to the cave. Oh my goodness. All right, I don't like this lava. Hey, stop it, stop it. Stop. What's just this button? Do we want to press this? Oh no, that enabled the timer. I feel like that's really bad. What does the timer mean? What does the time? Noob, what are you doing taking a bath in the lava? What are you doing? How are you not dying? Sorry for slacking on the job, but these drinks are fire. What are you talking? Oh my God, <laughs> it's a mimosa. <laughs> It's a fire resistance potion, but it has some weird side effects. Is that why you're taking a bath in the lava and not pressing whatever this lever is? Okay, I don't know what this is. Okay, this, stop and why are these timers being enabled? Oh, it op I bet it opens this. Okay, I have to figure out what this does. Wait a second. What if you have to press all the timers at the same time? That's gotta be what it is. Can we make it? Can we make it? Yes, that's gotta be it! Okay, we gotta make it to the lever! Go, 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 these vines, bro! Noob, can you please assist? It's still not open, what are we missing? Maybe there's another one that we haven't seen. All right, one more, one more. Come on, come on! No, 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 no! Oh, we might not make it, we might not make it! These vines, man! All right, and go, here we go! All right, so now that we have the lever flicked, we have to press all the buttons. And if you don't press them in the right amount of time, they reset. So we're gonna start with this one, that's the easiest one. 
Oh my god, I got stuck in a cobweb. Okay, this one. Now we have to double back to the entrance. Oh, this one should be easy. I think we're gonna be fine. Here we go. Yes! You'd love to hear that sound. You'd love to see, you just love to hear that sound in Minecraft, folks. It's so rewarding. What, how many, okay, let's count the guards. One prison guard, one security guard, a regular guard. There are a total of three guards inside of this room. How am I supposed to get inside of here? All right, listen, I don't know what's happened to him, but he's got a problem. He literally told me, he said, go ahead without me. This lava's awesome. I think Noob has a little bit of a problem. He needs to stop consuming these fire resistance potions. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, the first security guard has gone past. Here we go. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak 1,000. Oh, can they see past these? Maybe they're blind. Maybe they cannot see through bars? Please don't come. Okay, he didn't go this way. Maybe they're blind. I don't know what they are. Okay, I don't know why he didn't see me just now. I'm not gonna ask questions. All right? Oh my God, did we just make it? I think they're blind. Okay, I don't know what it is. I don't make the rules. I just play the maps. <laughs> Let's go! Wait, this one is an ice card and whatever this is, it must unlock something cold. So now we've got one through eight, two through four, three through two, four through five, and then an ice card. What's, what do the numbers mean, Mason? Does anybody know what it means? If you know what this means, you need to let me know down below in the comments because I am lost in the sauce right now, baby. All right, the next house, of course, has to, to be in the cold. <sighs> and as you know, I'm a native Texan, so I'm not used to the cold as, as much. Um, what are you doing? What was that? That was the most aggressive tossing of dirt I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've been alive for 26 years. So I believe this is the next house that we need to sneak into. I just don't know. Wait a second. It must unlock something cold. Can we just... Oh my gosh, why did that work? That actually worked. Um, okay, we have a lot of command blocks. Do not press anything. You hear me? Don't press a button. Don't even think about pressing a button. No, don't touch anything. Stop. You're going to get us killed. You are literally going to get us killed. What are you doing? What are you doing? Bad things are happening right now. You are leaking lava into the room. Why did you do this? Why? No, no. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Are, no, noob. Oh, my gosh. It's a dropper. Oh, okay. And, of course, noob has died yet again. Six deaths for my partner. No, this is like one of those times where I wish Brianna or somebody else was my partner. What the heck? Why? Nothing makes sense anymore. Why are you in here? This is noob 1234 son, in case you were curious by his name. Only a fellow noob could unlock the secret code. That explains everything. So much of my life, I think about things, and then they don't get explained. And then in this moment in time, they get explained. Now I understand what happened. Well, I'm actually thankful this time around that we had the noob to get inside of here. I... Don't understand what this water block is for. Is it? Oh, 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 baby. Two elytras and yet another coat. Oh, I also just like took these items without asking him. Um, can I take these? <laughs> Probably should have asked him before I took them. You know, sometimes I get things a little bit mixed up. Fine, you made it here. Take what you want. By the way, you might need it. Like the lava's coming down all the way into this part of your base. You might want to fix it sooner than later. So, you know, like that's, uh, that's going to be an uh, expensive cleanup. And I'm sorry. All right, this one. Okay, I think this might be the most difficult one, but also the most epic. Look at that lava curtain. It reminds me of factions back in the day. And you jump to your death with Elytron. Why do you even use these things? Okay, stop dying. You have seven deaths. If it gets to 10 deaths, no, stop. Yeah, thank you. Just be, no, no, <laughs> stop. That's right. Oh my God, wait, did, did he survive? Did Obi actually survive? Does anybody, anybody watching my videos ever play factions on cosmic PVP or just factions in general? This reminds me so much of Minecraft factions and I freaking love it. Oh, you have to go through the lava with the elytra, big brain. All right, maybe it wasn't a bad idea to bring you along. Well, the lava is friendly, it didn't hurt us. Well, okay, I wouldn't say that. Um, okay, I told you that the lava is not friendly. You just flew through with your elytra, dad coming. <laughs> I think he might end up busting 10 deaths before the end of this video. I'm not even like, remotely inco incompetent, is that a word? Unco I don't know. I'm very confident that he is gonna break a certain amount of deaths before we end this video. And where the heck are we? Is this like, 
regular okay regular loot inside of here so this is definitely not what we need oh that is so scary looking that's terrifying i think we okay i know the secret entrance is here somewhere but i think to be safe we should go ahead and collect everything that we see in the chest nearby because we might need it you never know if you need it to unlock the secret entrance that's pretty much how all these videos go oh very wait can mushrooms even is this normal for brown mushrooms to be on nether brick I'm pretty sure I've never, oh, I only got one. Okay, I don't think I need the other one. I don't think I've ever seen this before in my entire life. And then, oh, an, oh golden apple. Ooh, blaze rod. Okay, yo, something in here is whack. Why is there blue fire? Torch is also here? We have everything we need from the fortress except for a ghast here. All right, bring it on. Bring it on, let's go. Yeah, you want, you want some of this? You can't take, oh wait, there's two of them, hold on. Hold on, hold on, this isn't good. Hold on, this ain't good, bro. I don't know if I can take on two gas without any gear. No, wait, what? No, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not dead. Wait, what? What? I can't believe I have to save you. The net, I haven't seen this guy in months. The nether god. Sadly, I owe a debt to your new friend over there. This is my secret house, so I know you'll be needing this. He brought new back to life. Let's freaking go have you ever seen something as epic as that if you haven't you have to subscribe to the channel now that was amazing the afterlife was super cool i really hope you went to heaven i really hope he did i think there's a saying that all dogs go to heaven but also all noobs go to heaven right i, I want to believe that okay they're sweet and they're innocent and they're, <laughs> they're just god's chosen people okay wait all right, don't leave me behind no 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 no. where'd you go where'd you go okay oh dude you can't leave me behind oh man okay this makes a lot of sense. This makes a lot of sense. This makes so much sense. All right, one of these, one of these. Uh, noob, I think you have the gas tier. Can you give it to me, please? That, thank you. Okay, but boom. And then blaze rod and torch. Oh, let's go, dude. Oh, wait a second. Hold on, no, 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 be careful. Be careful, you lost your elytra. Just remember that. I'm very proud of you for doing that. Be careful. No, I don't, how did you? God bless America. How did you do that? How do you go from making a jump like this to literally running off the side? The world may actually never know. I don't know. I just, I can't handle it sometimes. You know, some of the noob ability. <gasps> this house is amazing. Actually, this house is phenomenal. So we have six papers. We have six of the codes, meaning that the last one finally will yield us the artifact, whatever that is. But can I say that this house is sick? I've also noticed one thing about every home we've been in so far. There's always a couch, a giant TV, normally a bed, and then some kind of like lava lamp, like aquarium. And I kind of like it. It's kind of, it's kind of spicy. It's a beautiful home. This is it, man. This is what you've been waiting for the entire episode. And selfishly, me and Noob1234 as well. Technically, it's Noob and I, not, not me and you and me. You know what I'm saying. I'm trying to proper grammar here. Preston, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, that's because the last house is a, it's a haunted house. You can do this all things through Christ who strengthens you. I know I typoed that so poorly, okay? I apologize. I was trying to type extremely fast. Oh yeah. Okay, there's a graveyard and a, this is a graveyard mixed with a haunted house and there are zombies? No, don't run away. What? Permanent death, final, no, 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 no. Oh my god, he did! He has Smite 3 though. Okay, at least he left us behind Smite 3. Can we get a moment? <laughs> All right, there's, just... <laughs> there's no time to mourn. We need to go on. Okay. All right, I'm, it's just sad. The zombies, thankfully, are all sleeping. You will go insane before you enter my secret house. I've hidden the key in one. Oh my God, that actually scared me. Why? That looked like Slenderman. I've hidden the key in one of the zombie pockets if you risk finding it. Oh, if you, okay, if you right click them, it wakes them up. Oh, this is so bad. I'm literally trying to check. I'm checking every zombie. Oh my God, dude, none of these, wait, I've got the key. I've got it, I've got it. Hold on, I've got to kill these zombies. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, Chief. Oh my god, we have two hearts. Two hearts. We can do this, we can do this. Oh, this is insane. We also have this, I don't know what this new feature is. I've never seen, we have a sanity meter at the top. Has anybody ever seen that in Minecraft before? Because I have not. Oh my god, the sound is just getting creepier and creepier. Stop. We've taken care of all the zombies. We have the rotten key, whatever this means. We're going into the house for noob1234. Type in the password. It's got to correspond with these notes. Wait, is it subtraction? Let's go! 
Sanity restored. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, dude, I'm actually... This music is not okay. This this haunted house is falling apart. What? Okay, I literally don't know what happened. I fell in the lava and got teleported back. We need to get out of here. Oh my gosh, these blocks are disappearing beneath our feet. This is insane. Is there anything out here on the patio? No, there's nothing. What is this? What is this? Oh, dude, I hate this sound. I'm actually losing my mind. You guys know on the channel I get scared, okay? I get scared easily by these sounds. I don't know. Oh my god! What did I tell you? You've fallen right into my trap. There's nobody that will come save you. No. No! No! What are you doing? You're going to die! I don't even know how you came along. I, I gotta get out of here. What do I do? Put down the block of andesite. Dang it, I'm stuck in these webs! Noob, I'm coming! I'm coming, buddy! No! No! No, stop it right now! No! Oh, wait! Noob has slain the Slenderman! How did you do this? I don't know how you did this. He jumped into the cobwebs before he TNT'd him. What is that? Is that the- that's the head of the creator of Minecraft! The Golden Notch Artifact. Why was this so well guarded? You can leave me here, I'm comfies. I mean, if you insist. Eventually you will fall, though. Just letting you know, okay? And uh, yeah, I get your head is bobbing, yes. This is what we came for! Dropping this- Yes! Yes! We have brought back the creator of Minecraft before it was sold to Microsoft. You have released me from my prison! I now owe you a great debt. Use this when the time is right. Use what? Use what? Use what? Our first entrance is so secret, I forgot where it was. <laughs> no, I am not even kidding. We do have this treehouse door, and when you place it in the right spot or the right tree, it will then open the secret entrance. But we have to first of all find the right tree, and I don't even remember which one it was. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. We need to be very careful with our inspections. If you all could just do me a solid and leave a like on this video right now, I think it would help me find this tree really fast. <laughs> no way. Okay, literally no clickbait. I found the entrance as soon as you guys dropped a like on the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the door down here, okay? Then we're going to open the door and bam! Look at that. How amazing was that? From this to this. Okay, wait, I actually have- I forgot what's on the inside of this secret treehouse. This is going to be epic! I have been climbing a ladder for far too long, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness! Look at how high up we are! This is sick! This is like a treehouse condominium on the 30th floor in the downtown of an epic city you love. Oh my gosh, wait, there's more floors? No way! Yo, this is actually the most epic treehouse in the entire world, filled and complete with diamonds, iron, and even gold! Whoa, there's even a master bedroom! I forgot, it's been a while since I've been here, and I haven't cleaned up in a while, so there's a little bit of cobwebs, so please ignore those for now. Wait, there's more chests? Wait, blocks of diamond? Blocks of iron? Oh my gosh, and there's still more to this house. This is nutty. So up here, this is like the crafting area. You've got your crafting benches and your anvils. I can't believe this. And this is only our first secret entrance, ladies and gentlemen. There are even more secrets to be found. I'm going to need your help for this next secret entrance. Whatever device you're watching this video on, I need you to turn it like this and make that red subscribe button gray, okay? I know it sounds crazy, but it helped me last time, so I mean, obviously it's going to help us this time find the entrance, right? There should be a missing book in one of these bookshelves that we are right now scouting, and once we find it, we should be able to open the entrance. Hold on. I think this one is missing a book. This one is definitely missing a book. Okay, wait, I forgot to find a book to fill the missing bookshelf. Oh my gosh, I am such a pleb right now. Give me that book, good chess. Ah, uh, here we go. And boom, shakalaka. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, this is beyond epic. Where is this taking us? Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Wait, this was under the library the entire time? I didn't think there was going to be this much loot. I Now, I thought it was going to be pretty dope, but this goes above and beyond everything I thought was possible for a secret secret library entrance, and I gotta say, I am pretty satisfied right now. In fact, I'm so satisfied we are moving on to the third secret entrance, which is somewhere inside this house. As you can imagine, the secret entrance does have something to do with all of these wooden chests. I don't know what exactly, but I will figure it out. 
Okay, but this right here, this missing court slab, has me wondering maybe it's not the chest and maybe it's something else. No, 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 come on, it's gotta be the chest. I mean, there's way too many of them. Oh, come on, guys, you know I'm just kidding with you. I've got this key which opens the secret chest to the secret base. Now, what you are going to want to look for is a golden block just like this one. And once you find this, you then are going to right-click this chest with the secret key. And voila, we are now inside of the chest. Now, this is one of my favorite secret bases because I just really like chests. I don't know why. There's something just so special about them in Minecraft, and I think people take chests for granted. I mean, think about it. Chests do so much work for us. They hold all of our items, diamonds, nether wards, all kinds of crazy things, and they never ever complain, not even once. It wouldn't be a complete secret base video if we didn't have a base that was hidden away somewhere in the scary, disgusting, but also awesome nether, ladies and gentlemen. For this one, we need to collect some building materials. I will show you why in just a moment's time. I cannot spoil it because if I spoil it, well, then you will know where the secret base is, and that will not be any fun. I got Gotta make sure I'm lined up in the correct spot, which it looks like I am. We are going to build all the way to the top. I am literally praying to God right now that we do not get shot down by a ghast or anything else that could technically kill us because we are doing something very, very risky right now. What do you mean, Floopy, you don't approve? Come on. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna mine all the way up to the bedrock and then spam ender pearls as fast as you can. Oh, goodness. I do not want to die, though. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Anyways, sorry about that. That was very unprofessional of me. This is your secret hideout in the nether. And you cannot tell me that this place doesn't look purely epic. And if anything, this isn't even like a house. This is like a giant secret mansion. We've got wither skulls everywhere in case you guys want to make the nether back in the overworld. We've even got nether stars, nether quartz, bricks, all kinds of nonsense. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but on the outside, we've got like mushrooms, dead bushes. We've got these awesome looking glowstone trees and these little mini like quartz areas where you can collect and grind XP if you wanted to. It's definitely a vacation home for some others. It's not so much a vacation home, but I still love it, okay? Don't judge me. For this secret base, we must become a wizard like Harry Potter. I am holding a magic wand which can be used for spell castings and opening secret passageways, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I'm curious. Do you guys recognize this house? It's from a favorite movie, which may or may not include a very famous wizard. For the most part, the house is kind of dull. There's nothing crazy about it until you go underneath the staircase area. And if you look in this general direction and then you right click, watch what happens. Three, two, one, yeet. Oh, this is so cool. It opens up a secret nether portal. And when you go inside, you are then brought to an exact replica of Hogwarts from the movie Harry Potter. How insane is this? If this doesn't make it into your top five most secret bases, secret entrances, or whatever you want to call it, I do not know what else will. I'd probably say the only downside is it does not come with Hagrid or Harry Potter or Cerberus Snape. It's just a replica, okay? I'm sorry. I couldn't bring the actual magic to this place. This may be my favorite secret base because this is hidden some Somewhere below us in the water. And I personally find that secret bases in water are probably the coolest. <laughs> and, and once again, I have hid this secret base so well that I may or may not have forgotten exactly where I put the entrance, but that is a part of the plan, okay? I think I used the sea pickles to mark where I hid the secret base. I'm just not 100% sure. If you are laughing at me right now in the comments, imagine if you were in my feet currently, okay? Or maybe the saying goes in my shoes. I can't remember, okay? I'm a little bit distracted right now. Oh my gosh, there's diamond down here? No, 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 Preston, focus on the secret base. We cannot get distracted by diamonds. This is starting to look really familiar. I think it's down here inside of this ravine. Oh, please tell me this is it. Yes, 
I see the sea pickles. This has got to be at 100 million percent. Follow the sea pickles. Did I really hide the secret base this far? I do not remember it being this long to get to. Oh, wait, it's, it's, okay. I took a right turn when I was supposed to take a left turn. Wait, yo, guys, this is it. This is 100% it. Look at the gold ore I placed down up top. Just a little bit further. Come on, we're almost there. Yes, this is it right here. Look at the diamond staircase I built and look at the secret house underwater in a cave. One of my all time favorite getaways. If you guys didn't know, I do rent this house out from time to time, but only the friends I really love comes full with a complete master bedroom suite with a view of your own private ocean aquarium, an enchanting library just in case you want to get some work done while you're on vacation, a double chest closet, but unfortunately this is all I could really fit down here because it's pretty difficult to build a secret base underwater in a ravine and when I am made of lava. I mean, look at me. I'm literally made of lava. I really wanted to save this one for Halloween, but you know what? You guys are worth it, okay? We're looking for a specific jack-o'-lantern that has a trap door on it. What do you mean I passed it up to my left? Did I really pass it to my left? Oh my gosh, I did. Okay, I'm such a pleb. So, it may look just like an ordinary jack-o'-lantern with a trap door, but I promise, once you go and follow me on Instagram at RealTBNRFrags, the jack-o'-lantern will turn into a legitimate house, okay? Did you follow me on Instagram? Because if you didn't, it's not going to work. Oh, so you did follow me on Instagram. Okay, well then I'll show you guys. Open the trap door while jumping and... Yes! Just like that, inside of the secret house of the jack-o'-lantern. And look at how spacious this place is, okay? You've got the giant spiral staircase, which goes all the way up the pumpkin stem, which personally, I find to be one of the coolest things about this secret house. It's a little bit difficult to get sleep in here, though, because there's so much light from, like, all of the torches. But there's a giant production facility for other jack-o'-lanterns inside of this jack-o'-lantern as well. I really like this place though because like I think the torches that are floating just look so cool I mean how could you not love this and if for some reason you don't love this well I just cannot be friends with you because it is purely amazing this is one of like the oldest tricks in the book for a secret house but I still love it you see the regular house you see the painting and you think to yourself huh there's probably something behind this painting. And to that, I say you are correct, good sir or ma'am who is watching this video. There is a secret portal hidden on the behind of the painting, which warps you to this beautiful, luxurious house that in my opinion is very, very peaceful. This is like being in Norway or Sweden. There's beautiful green grass and trees and flowers of all kind, while also living in a five-story mansion. I just, I don't know, I just I love this house so much, and I love how you, that you could go back to the smaller house at any point in time if you want. So, I don't know, maybe you've got some kind of guest over, and you're just like, hmm, I'm not a big fan of these guests. I want to go to my beautiful big house and be there by myself. Then you just literally have to walk into the portal and no problems, no questions, easy peasy lemons are squeezy. If you guys watching this video or anything like me, I love apartments or condos, especially things that are really like tall up. And that's why I had to build a secret house inside of these apartment buildings. What we're looking for here is the bathroom, which I believe it is in here. Wait, oh, yep, these are definitely the bathrooms. So you're going to be wanting to look for a secret area underneath one of these toilets. I think it might have actually been in this one right here. Yes, there it is. Once you press this button, shazam, shazam. The floor beneath you falls and you are teleported to your secret house oasis, complete with three orange couches inspired by my Minecraft character's color, a giant dining table, a massive, massive kitchen with more utilities than you will probably ever need in your entire life, this awesome looking master bedroom that can sleep eight people, and complete with your favorite collection of books, another giant library down here with a pool table, three more couches, living room, giant flat screen TV. Oh, and I forgot, there's a vault down here with diamond ore, diamond blocks. <laughs> How did I forget about this part? This is probably one of the best parts about this place. I just love this secret house because it's so modern. It literally fits me perfectly. 
Here comes the sad part of the video where I have to mention that if you comment within the first 60 minutes of a video being uploaded, your comments will be featured right here. So make sure you guys comment. Floopy says goodbye.